What is up y'all? This is Andy with Poster Grind and today I'm going to show you how to create an awesome halftone effect for your typography and mix in the ink bleed distressed effect. First thing I did is I went to texturelabs.org to pick out some cool texture. I have this scratchy texture as, as well as some paper texture. To get started, go ahead and type something cool out. I'm using a font called Alternate Gothic Number 3D. When you have that ready, go to New Layer. And on that new layer, we're going to take a snapshot of what we've created already by hitting Shift, Option, Command, E. Now we have a layer that we can work with. We're going to go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And we're gonna add about 15 to 14 pixels worth of blur, hit okay. Now we're gonna to go to our adjustment layers and we're gonna look for threshold. Once you have threshold, go ahead and click that and you can play around with the dial. But what we wanna do is create some bleed so that the letters are actually touching each other. So going back down to our type layer or the one that we've just created, we're gonna hit new layer in between the threshold and that type layer. Hit B on the keyboard, making sure you have it on black. We're just going to paint where we want our bleed to be. Something like that. Now we're going back to our threshold layer. We're gonna hit new layer so that that jumps on top of all of our layers. We're gonna make a snapshot one more time by hitting Shift, Option, Command, E. Now with that same brush, we're gonna start painting with white. And I'm just going to put a little bit of white over here on the G and the R so that we have some nuance when we create our halftone. So now on that same layer, we're gonna go ahead and right click and convert to smart object. Now that we have that smart object, we can go up to filter, pixelate, and then go to color halftone. Once you're in color halftone, I have mine set already at nine and then our, our channel's at 100, hit okay. And that creates our halftone. And then right here, you can see where we brushed with white. It's actually giving us some more halftone to work with. Now, if you don't like the size of your halftone, you can always click on it or double click on it and either make it bigger or smaller. Let's see what it looks like at five. That's too small. So let's try it again, double click, and let's go to 14. And that's too big. So I'm just gonna go back down to 11 and see what that looks like. All right, cool enough. Now let's go ahead and add our texture. So what we wanna do is grab our paper texture, drag that below our smart object. And then on our smart object, we're gonna click on that, double click on the smart object, and then go to underlying layer, holding down option on your keyboard. We're gonna drag this slider to the left until it starts showing the layer below, something like that, then hit okay. Now we're gonna drop in our other scratchy texture, dropping that on top, and then we're just gonna mess around with the blend mode. So from normal, we're gonna go all the way down to lighten. Then we're going to add a curves layer, adjustment layer. So we're going to curves adjustment layer. And from here, we can increase the contrast until you have something that you like. And now let's say we want to turn this graphic or we want to place this graphic on a t-shirt or you're working on another project, say a movie poster, and you need to drop it in. What we're going to do is go to new layer, shift option, command E, taking that snapshot one more time, then we're gonna get rid of all the white by going to select color range. And then we're just going to use our dropper and drop on top of our darkest point on our graphic. Hit okay. Now we're gonna go back down to our adjustment layers and we're gonna to go to solid color. And then we're gonna make sure that's all the way towards black. Hit okay. And on that same layer, we're going to right click and convert it to a smart object. Now we can group our bottom layers, which shows how we made this, by hitting Command G, turning that off, and now we have no background and we can drop this logo onto our next product. And that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you learned something. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.
Thanks for watching.